In this video, we will be taking you through the preliminary market engagement notice, giving some background on when and how the notice is to be used, and what information needs to be included when publishing one. This notice is compulsory where a contracting authority has conducted or plans to conduct preliminary market engagement. Whilst an authority is not required to conduct preliminary market engagement, this notice provides a means of making suppliers aware of planned market engagement activity and inviting suppliers to participate. This notice also serves as a means of providing transparency to inform suppliers and the public that preliminary market engagement has taken place. Where engagement has been conducted, but a preliminary market engagement notice has not been published, the reasons for not publishing it must be captured in the tender notice. Although the decision not to publish a preliminary market engagement notice is solely at the discretion of the contracting authority, this decision must be taken in the context of the obligations. For example, those covered under Section 12 of the Act regarding covered procurement objectives, or Section 16 of the Act relating to preliminary market engagement. These obligations require, for example, that authorities take steps to ensure that participating suppliers are not placed at either an advantage or disadvantage, and ensures authorities have regard to barriers to participation for SMEs, including considering whether such barriers can be removed or reduced. Preliminary market engagement is to be encouraged, as this can be invaluable to the contracting authority in the right circumstances for a number of reasons. For example, feedback from suppliers at this point in the procurement process can help contracting authorities to clarify their requirements based on feedback from suppliers, making it more likely that bids received will better meet the authority's needs. Furthermore, engagement can help the contracting authority to better understand the market's capacity and what solutions or type of goods exist in the market in which they are procuring that may meet the need they are trying to satisfy. And ultimately, this can inform the intended procurement strategy of the authority, as intelligence from market suppliers may highlight alternative approaches to meeting the need the procurement is intended to fill, or identifying potential difficulties in procuring particular goods or services. The following information must be included when publishing a preliminary market engagement notice, though please note that authorities should refer directly to the regulations and associated guidance as this information is only being provided as a general guide to the notice requirements. The required information is information about the contracting authority, the title of the procurement, the unique identifier relating to the procurement, information relating to the subject matter of the contract. In situations where a contracting authority has opted to use this notice to invite suppliers to participate in any preliminary market engagement, this notice must include the date that the authority intends to close the engagement. Or, in situations where the contracting authority has already conducted preliminary market engagement, authorities must also include the date the engagement closed. Authorities will also be required to provide the market with a brief description of the process used for any engagement. This should include, for example, the date and time of any planned events, and any periods for submission of expressions of interest and information by suppliers.